when I've come to Ghana, what I've realized is that that the 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 use of financial systems at the global level is extracting at the fastest pace from this region, from Africa. How? Tell us how that happens. The way it happens is through the use of project financing. That's one way, right? So for project financing or the very heightened prices that um, governments pay to borrow money from the developed markets. So if you can imagine, the ECB at the moment is, you know, it's Fed funds rate or it's issuing funds at minus 0.4% roughly, okay? So I'm basically, I'm Deutsche Bank, Deutsche Bank SPA Italia. I'm being basically paid to take money, right? So I can then lend that money to an African government to maybe build a city or to build a railway line or to build a market. Now, there's a real problem there because ultimately that extraction means that the money that is lent into these projects by these export credit agencies and other institutions in the system, this project plan and system, is mandated to be spent back in the region that lent the money. So for example, if Deutsche Bank Italia lends money into Ghana. It tells Ghana, well, because it's come from an export credit agency, you have to spend at least a portion of it on Italian goods. Right. So this money that I've lent, Ghana has borrowed, is paying loads of interest on, um, is then being forced to spend it on my productivity, my uh, economic system, my labor. All that's left at the end is... Um, a project or this, you know, maybe a new road or a new hospital, but no skills have been left. The profit was extracted and there's no resources left in the system to maintain that, um, that piece of infrastructure that was built.